Hello Pisces, welcome back to my channel. This is a love reading for the 8th until the 14th. As always, thank you for liking, sharing, and commenting and subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, tap the button and hit the bell. If you like a personal reading with me, that information is in the description box down below. So let's begin and let's see. I'm gonna start out with the after tarot. I will do clarifiers here. And quickly, there are three cards that just fell out. I will remove these. Let's see, we're gonna start out with the devil. So let me put these out first. And Pisces, your own card has come out. We have the two of swords. So we have Capricorn, air, and then we've got your own energy that comes out. I will be doing also clarifiers just to bring a little bit more to what is going on. So right away here, um, with Temperance being at the bottom of the deck, Sagittarian card. So, uh, you know, the Temperance card can, when I'm seeing it here with the devil, this definitely is like a talk about um, the alcoholic. This is a talk in regards to someone who could be overindulging, over drinking when it comes and it's asking you to harmonize. There's a codependency here to some kind of form of addiction, whether this is to a person, whether this is to a substance, this is asking you with the world at the bottom, this is something for you to complete. So there is some kind of addiction, some kind of obsessive negative thinking, behavior, something that is going on within your love life right now. And it's asking you really to bring that to its closure here um, with the two of swords. The two of swords, the answers that you are seeking is very internal. You cannot hear the messages on the outer because the two of swords here uses the intuition of the moon and the feelings within the water. It is not going in the mind. That's why it asks to go in very much blocked energy. So not being able to see things. There's a lot of fear based here. There's shadows. The moon is saying that there are fears, things for you to look at, things that you have not seen, things that you are not really paying attention to when it comes to a codependency or a love situation that you could be addicted to when the moon card comes out because the moon is our fears and self-doubts. And this is what is coming on when it comes to the relationship. These are the hidden forces. Here with the devil card, when the devil comes out, it talks about that um, using any type of guilt, anything that is going on when it's force, it's time for you to be honest with yourself, with the devil here. What are you overindulging on? What is it that you're not seeing? Where is it that you need to harmonize? Where are you self-defeating yourself when it comes to relationship? What is it that you need to see that's that darkness? You need to look at your shadow right now when it comes to you in relationships. Here, I'm going to pull a romance angel and let's see which romance angel card wants to come out. And it, it says that children could be affecting you. Um, your love life is being affected by children. So some of you could be having kids. Some of you maybe want kids. So there can be a separation here is what I'm sensing. I'm going to also pick a light seer's deck for each one. Pisces, you come out again. So there are hidden depths. There are fears that you are not looking at. The moon is telling you to dive in deep. Dive in deep to your addictions. Dive in deep to the darkness, do that shadow work, go within when it's coming in regards to the relationships that you are um, in at this time. Here with the chariot, it's time for you to move forward. So the decision is for you to break free from the habits, break free from the codependencies, break free from the addictions, and to make that internal decision <clears throat> excuse me, because when the chariot shows up, the chariot is all about that movement forward. It does not hesitate. This is the card of that journey that one is taking, but that journey, Pisces, is an inward journey. It's not an outside journey. This is in regards to your own spiritual progress. It's very much focus and tent. Again, talking about the light and the dark aspect of yourself, of you, of the way you show up within relationships or the way other relationships are showing up in your life. It is a complete mirror effect. Eight of Pentacles is in mastering this. It's in mastering your fears. It's somebody who's sitting down and doing the work. 
who is somebody who's working on the shadow, on the fears, on the things that have not shown up, um, that are showing up on the external. Here we have within the Twin Flame Journey deck. Let's see which card wants to come out. I'll take one card and I'll take the card of, wow, surrender. I have work to do, walking away. Pisces, and then I have meditation, inner journey, intuition, awakening, and breath. Pisces this week is asking you to look at your addictions, to look at your obsessions, to look at your own beliefs, and to really go inward. The journey that you're seeking in your relationships on the outer, you have your own card coming up twice. And it is saying, you know, what is it that you're obsessing about? Where are you indecisive? About? Where do you need to make a change? What is it that you need to surrender to? And are there children that are, are a factor? Are you so for those who don't have children? Could it be that your own childhood is in factor and in way of the relationship? So a lot of questions here, Pisces, for you to look at this week. And let's close you out with a power of love. And we have trust. So this card here says, you have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition. Trust that this journey is just to break you free from your own prison of your own mind. This right now, every relationship comes in our life to mirror aspects of ourself that we are ready to look at. The answers this week, Pisces, for you is to really surrender, to meditate, and to go within and trust. You know, maybe some of you want to have kids, the other person does not. Maybe there's kids that are affecting relationships. It can go on and on. But this this week is asking you, in Pisces, we're in Pisces season, which is telling you to surrender. You have double Pisces. Go within until next week. Sending you much love, much light. Namaste.